in this question, we have silicon carbide, which is apparently abrasive, and it's made in some made by some reaction. So we're saying we have 150 grams of this. So 150 grams of this. Um, we'll just call that lowercase m. M equals 150 grams. And uh, for the carbon, we have 101.5 grams. So m equals 101.5 grams. And we want to know uh, if the reaction proceeds as far as it can possibly proceed, uh, which is going to be the excess reactant, which is going to be limiting, and how much of each remains. So, do this. We have to be careful in dividing these up. I can tell you that much. Because this equation is not yet balanced. So, siok forms SICCO, S-I-C-C-O, get it? We have one silicon there, one carbon there, two carbons there, and one oxygen there. So if we make this two, make this three, everyone's happy that way. See? Three carbon, one, two, three carbon, two oxygen, two oxygen, one silicon, one silicon, everybody's happy. And we've got our molar ratios. So, number of moles of carbon. So... Oh, sorry there. Molar mass of carbon. I know that one off head. So M of carbon equals 12.01 grams per mole. So therefore, moles is going to be 101.5 grams divided by 12.01 grams per mole. And at this point, it's all standard. You should show your units. I don't really have space on here. And my eraser's busted. So, alright, so 8.45 moles approximately. 8.45 approximately. Not exact. Uh, SiO2, I don't know the molar mass of that off the top of my head. So, you'll have to look it up. And, you just happen to have this there's silicon, there's oxygen. It's SiO2. We just add the silicon, 28.0, 28 uh, 28 so 28.086, plus two of the oxygen. Oxygen's approximately 16. That'd be 32 plus 20, 60.086. So, 60. Point zero eight six grams per mole, and therefore the number of moles there n equals uh, that'd be 150, 150 divided by sixty point zero eight six, approximately two point five zero moles, approximately two point five zero moles of that. So if the Reaction proceeds as far as it'll go. This is our product of interest. We want to see how much of that we'll get. So, <coughs> we want to know which reaction is going to be left over and by how much. So, let's, let's take a look here. So, 2.50 moles of this will produce 2.50 moles of this. 8.45 moles of this will produce 8.45 divided by 3 moles of this, if we remember our molar ratio. So, uh, carbon, so from SiO2, we'll start with that. SiO2. Uh, product, 2.50 moles. Uh, from the carbon, now remember, it's 8.45 divided by 3, because this is only 1. So 3 of these goes to 1 of these. So, fun times. Carbon, we're going to have uh, 8.45, 8 divisions by 3, they always mess with my head. About 2.82. Yeah, so, produces... 2.82 moles. So, we 
you can see from that, there's going to be some excess carbon left over. And if there's going to be some excess carbon left over, there's going to be that little bit amount left over. So that's going to be 2.82 minus 2.50, 2.82 minus 2.50. We're going to get about 0 0.32 moles of carbon left over uh, based on you know this subtracted by this, but we know that that's going to be times 3. Uh, so that's going to give us 0 0.96 moles of carbon. So. 0 0.96 moles of carbon will be left over. Um, so yeah, 0 0.96 moles. Uh, or, if we get the mass, 0 0.96 times 12.01, that would be about 11.5 or so. 11.5 grams of carbon left over. Mm. There's food in my book. So that's the extra money I paid for extra food. So that while I'm studying, I can eat. <laughs>